내가 말이야 너의 아빠를 내가 다시 살릴 수도 있지 않을까? There's now a well-deserved interest in Korean cinema due to the release and success of Parasite and Squid Game. In addition to making excellent thrillers, South Korea also seems to be particularly good at producing horror films. Many preconceptions about popular American horror films are at odds with the style of horror found in Korean cinema. Instead of focusing on rapid cuts and jump scares, these movies explore the darkest recesses of the human brain, where sinister ideas sprout like toxic mushrooms. The following list will showcase the top horror movies produced in South Korea, including everything from ghost stories to vengeance thrillers. Number 1. A Tale of Two Sisters A Tale of Two Sisters, a South Korean psychological horror drama movie, was inspired by a folktale from the Joseon dynasty. The film follows a recently discharged patient from a mental institution with her sister, only to encounter her stepmother and the spirits who haunt the house, which all have ties to the family's troubled past. The best words to characterize a tale of two sisters are dark, somber, and depressing, thus, Hollywood decided to recreate it under the name The Uninvited, starring Emily Browning and Ariel Kebble. In addition, the movie is rather upsetting because of its use of color and music, which is a little different from the majority of horror films that we typically encounter. The surprise ending may also impress many viewers. Number 2. The Red Shoes the Red Shoes is a South Korean horror movie influenced by Hans Christian Andersen's 1845 tale of the same name. The film follows Sun Jae, a young woman who had recently split up with her husband, who accidentally picks up a pair of cursed red shoes at the train station and spreads bad luck to everyone around her. The movie's success in fusing the two sub-genres of supernatural horror and criminal investigation will keep viewers on edge the entire time. Moreover, the film's use of color and music is a standout feature. They heighten the intensity of the scenes that call for it and cause spectators to suffocate alongside the characters. Lastly, the performance of the cast is also excellent. Number 3. Acacia Acacia is a horror film directed by Park ki hyun about a happy couple living in a city suburb who are unable to have children. Consequently, they visit the orphanage and adopt Jean Song. However, after giving birth to their first child, the feeling for Jean Song progressively wanes, causing him to leave, and the unsettling occurrences begin, which all start with the acacia tree Jean Song used to play with. The film's soundtrack and stunning cinematography both enhance the tension-filled mood created by the story. In addition, the primary cast's acting is outstanding, particularly Mun Oh Bin, who gives a convincing and spooky performance as a child actor. <laughs> Number 4. Killer Tune Kim Yong Jaeun, who also directed The Red Shoes, is the first Korean director to make a movie with a webcomic concept named Killer Tune. The film centers on the well-known manga artist Jiyoon, whose life was abruptly turned upside down by the mysterious suicide of her editor-in-chief. Soon after, a string of terrible killings happened, and how they were carried out was exactly as Jiyoon had described, raising some serious questions. Killer Tune has a built-in thinking process and a plot that brilliantly intertwines reality and fiction, which can greatly confuse viewers if they aren't paying enough attention. Additionally, the film doesn't contain many jump scares, but the exceptional utilization of cartoon techniques and effects heightens the brutality and frightfulness of each graphic scene. <laughs> Number 5. Cinderella Despite the name, Bong Mandae Cinderella is not a South Korean rendition of a well-known fairy tale. The film revolves around Hyun Soo's family, who runs a small, inexpensive plastic surgery practice. As a result, Hyun Soo's friends came to her house to change her appearance since they trusted her. After that, several mysterious events happen that seem related to her childhood. The movie is unafraid to criticize South Korea's overuse of plastic surgery and all of its negative effects by cleverly using sharp camera angles and haunting lighting and colors. 
Despite a few story holes, the movie succeeds in its genre thanks to its original and creative approach. The cast's incredible acting is also a highlight. <laughs> Number 6. Death Bell The plot of Death Bell centers on the mass murder of 20 students in an elite class due to an obsession with accomplishment and a bribe paid to the teacher to secure a spot in the class. When a mysterious voice asks the students to complete a given exercise or else they will die one by one over the speaker, the death begins. Death Bell creates a suffocating, dark atmosphere that haunts the viewer by using a variety of brutal techniques for murder as its excellent use of music. Despite containing all the essential components of a horror movie, the film also warns against South Korea's fixation on academic success, where university exam failure is one of the leading causes of suicide. Moreover, the lead actress, Nam Gyuri, made an amazing acting debut with her performance, which gave her further opportunities in the profession. Number 7. The Whispering Corridors Franchise Whispering Corridors was one of the most well-liked horror movies of the 90s. Due to the first movie's success in 1998, it received five additional parts, the most recent of which was released in 2021. As a result, it became one of the most popular South Korean girls' school horror franchises. Despite having several installments and taking place at all girls' high schools, the franchise never repeats its story or cast of characters, and each one stands solidly on its own. Additionally, the filmmakers explore and denounce the grave situation that South Korean students are in due to academic obsession and peer pressure, which was realistically and relatably depicted. Number 8. The Evil Twin The Evil Twin is about two girls falling into the water, but unfortunately, only So Yun is saved, but she spends the next 10 years in a coma. When she awakens, one by one of those responsible for her sister's death mysteriously vanishes, raising suspicion about her. Park Shin Hai's acting, in which she played two characters convincingly, must be the film's high point. Additionally, the film's excellent use of music, camera positions, and lighting are appropriate for the time period it is set in to help enhance the intense atmosphere and the suspense of the village residents as death approaches. Number 9. Bedeviled Bedeviled follows a woman from Seoul who brought her daughter back to the remote island where she was born due to severe discrimination. Unfortunately, Yeonhee, Bok Nam's daughter, was ruthlessly murdered. The film is quite nihilistic, depressing, and deals with some uncomfortable subjects. That being said, it stands head and shoulders above its contemporaries as a horror film and offers unrelenting gore and violence in addition to an exciting experience that will thrill any fan of the genre. Moreover, while some films feature gratuitous and pointless violence, The Devil explains its gruesome scenes by making them the outcome of an emotionally painful and convincing plot. Number 10. The Call The Call debuted in 2020 and is based on the 2011 Hollywood film The Caller. The movie centers on a young woman who receives a call from a strange woman alleging that she is being tortured upon arriving at her abandoned childhood house. It is learned that the phone call was made from the same home, only 20 years earlier. The storyline combines fantasy, horror, and drama, making for a compelling and enjoyable viewing experience. The mood of the call is one of sheer psychological dread, even if there are no jump scares or other typical horror movie cliches. Additionally, the cast's equally outstanding performance is another highlight. <laughs> if you like a video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.